answer it. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be The world awaits to receive you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Uncensored Enlightenment Talk with your host, Grace Levi. Celebrity topic for you guys. Um, some may be interested, some may not, but this is a very important topic, I think, to the Black community. And the reason why is because we are constantly, constantly stuck in the in the um the, the prison system. And that's because we're doing stupid, sh we're doing stupid shit like this. And I'm about to show you. Update on the YSL case. Now, you know, it's YSL, Young Thug. I'm so confused about who is what. My brother got to tell me. I thought this was somebody YSL in this thing. I watched the whole, whole um interrogation. And I they used so many tricks on this person. It was ridiculous. And then this person was already an informant. But my thing is, how did the video get out? That's first and foremost. So basically, this article is deserve every bullet. That's what they say. And then you're going to promote this. You're going to say that. When this in YSL case could be in danger after interrogation leaks. Okay, so first and foremost, whoever did this may work for them. And the reason, well, YSL and all of them. And I'm just saying, I'm like, how? Because by them doing this, they put this witness life in danger. You have ignorant, so many ignorant people. And they Ben was looking at um um young thug. What's the other one name? Um whatever. They already was looking at the other gentleman that was ratting on young thug, thug as is he a is he a snitch? He not a snitch. So what's going to happen? They said they have over 300 witnesses, and this case is supposed to be the long case. In a week or two, we're going to get an update that the witness list severely was cut in half, first and foremost. You think people are going to be dealing with this? You think people are going to be talking and then they life in danger? No, they, they don't have no security. They know the police is not really going to put them in witness protection. They don't have nothing but their area and their family and where they live. You think they're going to do this? So this right here, in my opinion, was something to throw the case out the window. It was a first step, especially after you got to be listening to what the judge, the judge is acting so weird, but he's acting weird from a legal perspective because he's doing his own thing, but he's not acting weird from understanding Georgia. Because Georgia courthouse, any place, they do their own thing unless you just stand on your ground and just, I don't know, just keep on fighting. I haven't won a case out here yet, but I'm coming to try to win one coming up. I want a lot of cases in Jersey out here. They going to just railroad you. Nope, nope, nope. Can't put that in. Nope, don't say that. And if you don't have the money to get the transcripts and to take it to higher court, you, you just lost. They just got you on papers. And this is how it works. And we're going to update you about a law in Georgia. They set us up. They said all the people who migrated over here thought you had freedom and this was a blue state. Watch what happened. We're going to read that after this. So this is about this gentleman life being in danger. And they're basically saying this witness deserved every bullet. Fulton County District Attorney Finney William is concerned about witness safety after video of him speaking with interrogators leaked online. The video, which has been viewed more than 30 million times online, show a man who has been identified 
been interrogated in the YSL gang case against hip hop artist Young Thug. It puts people's lives in danger. Williams told Chama to investigate reporters Mark Wing. My worst fear is that it is used as an intimidation tactic and people might be hurt. See, you know that. They, they ain't going to be testifying. But I have time for this. She says it is unclear how the video got out, allegedly, but this is in this interrogation room in a police department. Unless we got some smart people hacking computers. She says authorities have had it for over a year, but defense attorney just got it two months ago. He leaked it. Told y'all. It says the defense attorney got it two months ago. I had to process that statement in, in my head. So that means, allegedly, now all of a sudden it's leaked. They can't even prove it, though. How are they going to prove it? I'm happy to have them make a determination or find out where it came from. I know it didn't come from us, allegedly, defense attorney. Man, Keith Adams. Huh. Uh, the caption in the video do not appear to be a completely accurate, but Wills confirms a section of the video in which the main claim, the man claimed to have known about the murder about to happen is accurate to what he said. This is a murder that is about to take place with some very hot people. And the stuff that I know right now should be able to help me get out of situation. The man appears to tell the investigators. William says that many comments on the YouTube videos threatens the man's life. That explicit deserve their every bullet he gets coming. One comment says, you going to dot the goofy. Oh. So first and foremost, when I was listening to this, this man was singing like a canary. And he like, listen, he crazy. He was basically saying Young Thug wanted blood, allegedly. I'm telling you, you got to listen to this. He said he wanted blood and he kept calling out these hits. He was calling out so many hits that the under the, the dudes that's under him was like, oh, no, this is crazy. This is too much. It's too much. We can't we can't we can't do this. We don't know what was going on with this man. You know, they started like backtracking. They like, if anything happened, we going down. And this is what this guy was saying in the interview. So with that goes to say, my my young people who are on the street, who are literally out there doing crimes, doing it with people, that first and foremost, that's stupid. If you're going to do something, do it by yourself. I ain't promoting criminality, but don't be dumb. Secondly, Gang, gang, gang mentality is the first thing that's going to get you in this type of situation because they have these RICO charges and they also have these gang charges. So any affiliation and those type of things, you in court in the action, they're going to move forward and try to charge you with racketeering and things. And then you're going to have your friend like this boy right here talking about some what you can do with me, do for me because he all the way crazy. Like, I can't be dealing with this. He's stressing me out. I'm stressed out. He got everybody killing. Talking about he want blood. He want blood. We don't understand it. Like, what is going on? But we just trying to get some money because we just need some money. That's what he has said. Allegedly. So, with that goes to stay, please stay off the street, my black man. Please. It is really not worth it. All right, let's get to our sponsor. Would you like to learn a brand new and innovative way to invest your extra money that has a low barrier to entry and low competition? What if I told you that it is a guaranteed method to get up to 18 to 20% return on your investment? Tax lien and deed purchasing is the only way to get into the real estate market through the back door. No credit and no loans needed. This method isn't commonly taught and therefore the competition is very low for now. Put together a 14-hour info-packed course which will teach you everything you'll need to know to get started. Learn at your own pace, step-by-step, -step, guided video and aids to start you on the TLC deed investment process. The course offers many learning tools for new investors, helping ensure you safely invest in tax liens and deeds. Contact us today and join the buyback team. All right, all right, all right. So let's get to 